Welcome back to another video everybody. This is Scotty and today we are revisiting iLoot. As it has been getting lots of requests lately, we are currently in 1.14.2 and we're going to go ahead and open up iLoot and show you that it was working at this point in the game. As you see, it dispensed the shoker just fine. It broke in 1.16. So here we are loading the same world in 1.16. When we throw down the diamond block, it gets dispensed back here. Let's try it again, and there we go. In 1.16, they changed the way dispensers dispense, and they no longer go straight through blocks. So the solution is break the block and put an item frame back here, or you can place a sign and then an item frame. and put the shulker back in it, and it should be working. And there you go. That is a quick modification to this to get it back working. Now, there are some other modifications we can do to that, and we're gonna do that over here in a little bit. But before we get to that, I wanna go over the item filter, as I didn't explain it well in the original video. So this item filter has snowballs in it, and when you place another item in it, it dispenses. Now these stack to 16. Now if we put in an item that stacks to 64, like this, it does not dispense. For this to work, you need to add in more. and that is five. So you need these filled with five items that stack to 64 for this to work. I'm sorry I didn't explain that well in the first video. And now we corrected it. And now iLoot is working. Now over here, I'm going to go ahead and rebuild the inside of that. And here we go. This is the inside of iLoot, so we can work on it to see if we can make it work better. I did modify it a little bit by adding in this extra circuit on the side. So when the dispenser is empty, it will turn on this torch and come down here and lock the hopper. That's the only change to the circuit so far. Let's go ahead and bring a dispenser over here and see what we can do. Yeah, there was a block behind it. So let's go ahead and place this here and our button. Now we're getting your items out the side. So if we enclose this, what do we get? The item goes up. Does it go through two sets of blocks? It does. So can we use this for the floor? What happens if we change the dropper to point up? Let's put our items back in.
And they'll come out this way. Now they go up. With it pointing forward, they will go up instantly. So can we work this into the floor? Let's grab our hopper. So we have a hopper there. Oh, that won't work. We need to have blocks on the side of it. Do we need a block behind it? We do. What about a hopper? Nope. It will come backwards with a hopper. So this has to be a solid block. So we could expand the floor by one, and it should work. Helps if I get the hopper in the right place. So this could work. Just modify the floor a little bit and put the dispenser below the ground. And that came forward. Let's go ahead and place some stairs here. Yeah, this should work. So we could move the dispenser into the floor. We throw our item in and get our item down there. Yeah, we should be able to work the redstone like that. Let's try stairs in front of it. That came forward. Can we use this? We need our block on the side. So, will this work? Place the stair here. And we can't throw a diamond today. And it came underneath. We're going to need to encase this with some blocks.
That's going to make loading this a little bit harder, but let's go ahead and place some blocks around it. And let's try again. That went underneath. So we need a block under it as well. Okay, it looks like we need a solid block above it. Just do that and place another repeater here and it should work. That came out the side. And that's right there. And that came forward. Is it a directional thing? So this one's facing south. And that one's facing west. Is that the problem? Well, that one came the right way. Let's move the stairs over. Is it the block above? It is. That block can't be there. We can move this lamp up by one. Can we place a stair in here? Will it work? No. Well, we need our block first. Let's try again. Nope. And there's our shulker. So this is working. And now our dispenser is empty, so it shouldn't take this block. So it's not much different than this one. Still the same width. We need to find an easy way to get into this dropper. Because we need a block under it as they dispense down like that. Okay, I came up with an idea. Let's go ahead and place a dropper under the dropper. Re enclose it, and let's see if this works. It does. Well, 
go ahead and place some in the bottom dropper. Get rid of that. Let's send a hopper into that dropper. And we'll place a chest on top of the hopper. We should still be able to get to the dropper. There's our one item. Everything else is down there. Will this work? It does. Can we do it again? Yep, it's moving from the bottom one to the top one. And we can just load them by placing them in here. So we just need to modify this a little bit to make it look nice. We can still put our pillared quartz on the side. Let's replace this with some smooth sandstone and sandstone stairs. We can replace this one too with some sandstone. That doesn't belong. Place our item frame back there. With the shulker. And there we go. That looks a lot better. And it still works. So there is the modifications to make iLoot work. We still have the ability to load it with the chest, so we're not limited to just 9 items. We can access the dropper if we needed to. And that doesn't go there. Much better. So that completes all the modifications needed for iLoot. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and it helps you get iLoot back up and running. Please leave comments and suggestions below. Thank you for watching.